Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick little presentation just to talk real quick about equine nutrition from a holistic perspective. Now knowing what food is ideal for your horse is an extremely important component of horse care. There are many different commercial feeds, supplements, and feeding plans out there so it can become very confusing. In this short video, I just want to explain what I perceive to be the important foundation of a horse's diet and show you how to view equine nutrition with a holistic approach. Before discussing a horse's diet, it is important to have a general understanding of their digestive system. Horses have a relatively small stomach for their size. This is because they have evolved to eat small males continuously throughout the day. Unlike humans, who gen generally consume two to three big males in a day, Horses are designed to graze and travel. In the wild, or when turned out on pasture, a horse will graze an average of 17 hours per day. Another difference between horses and people is that horses do not have a gallbladder. In humans, the gallbladder serves as a storage unit for bile. When people consume a meal, the bile is released so that the fats can be broken down. Since horses do not have a gallbladder, the bile is constantly passing through their digestive system, allowing the forage that they are consuming all day to be digested. So how often should you feed your horse? Using the information that we just learned about your horse's digestive system, you're probably figuring out that you should feed your horse as often as you can. Since they are designed to eat all day, the ideal scenario for a horse is to be turned out on grass 24-7. If that is not a possibility, then they should be provided with the high quality hay, which is also known as forage, all of the time. It is recommended to give your horse access to grass hay 24-7 and supplement with a legume like alfalfa or a legume grass blend as needed. To ensure that your horse doesn't overeat or consume the hay too quickly, we recommend using a hay net or slow feeder. This will ensure that your horse is able to pick up the hay all day. When feeding grain, you should never feed more than four pounds at a time because the horse's stomach is not able to hold and digest more than that. If you break up the feedings into three or more smaller feedings throughout the day, that is ideal. The horse's diet should be made up of at least 80% forage, which would be grass and or hay, and 20% or less grain. Many horses do fine with no grain at all. Grain has been known to cause inflammation in the horse's system and many horses do better on a grain-free diet. So what should you feed your horse? You want to provide your horse with grass or grass hay all day. If your horse needs additional calories due to either a heavy workload, if they are breeding animals, if they're young animals that are growing, or anything of that nature, you want to add protein, fats, and carbs to their diet. And you can do this through grain, seeds, and supplements. Make sure your horse is getting adequate vitamins and minerals as well. Some feeds are fortified, which means that the vitamins and minerals are added. If this is the case, you need to be careful when adding a vitamin mineral supplement because you do not want to overdose the horse. Some vitamins and minerals will accumulate in the horse's system, which can lead to issues that can often be just as bad or more dangerous than a deficiency. When adding a supplement to your horse's diet, make sure the vitamins and minerals are from a high quality source and are structured in a way that allows for optimal absorption. You want to provide your horse with free choice salt, which contains minerals, so they can consume it as they choose to. A horse will instinctively know when they need the nutrients, electrolytes, and minerals. Be sure to choose a salt that is naturally sourced and not bleached or processed. Holism means looking at the whole picture rather than the fundamental parts. When applying this to nutrition, it means that we need to look at the whole horse and take into consideration the anatomy, physiology, and mental health when coming up with the feeding plan. Since horses were developed to eat small males continuously throughout the day and their systems were designed to consume primarily forage, it would be very physically and emotionally stressful to keep a horse in a stall or a dry pen and deny them access to forage for extended periods of time. You should never ask a horse to go more than three hours without hay. The more turnout a horse can have on grass or with slow feed hay nets when grass isn't an option, the happier the horse will be. Happy horses will be easier to train, ride, and handle. If you're interested in learning more about equine nutrition, I encourage you to check out our online course. This is a 20-hour course which will certify you as an equine holistic nutritionist. Um, you can enroll in a free, pre free preview of the course by visiting our website, and you can also view the full curriculum there. And if you have any questions, we can be reached at holisticanimalnutrition at gmail.com.